Hey guys, so here are my thoughts and feelings of what I think is going to be in the Liberty Fall Zombies map in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Let's go. So let's get the first and obvious one out of the way. I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that the jet gun is going to be in this Zombies map. It's even in the teaser trailer, which is interesting in my opinion, because for those of you who don't know what the jet gun is, I'm going to explain it to you right now. So in Black Ops 2 Zombie, a map called Transit was released, and at the time everyone was really excited for it, and it, we saw this cool wonder weapon where it sort of sucks the zombies in and it kills them instantly in the trailer, and we thought, whoa, this is amazing, this is going to be epic. But then the actual gun was released into the map and the concept for it was terrible. You had to collect four parts, one after the other, they were all really far away from each other. And the weapon would break if you use it once and overheat it. So it wasn't a wonder weapon after all, it was absolutely tragic in fact. I'm just hoping when they release it in Black Ops 6, you don't have to build it. Or if you do have to build it, make sure you can pick all the parts uh, all at once for starters. And make sure the gu gun doesn't break after using it. That would be fantastic because if they don't execute that correctly, we're in serious trouble. So up next, I know most of you definitely already know this, but I'm going to expand on the point a little bit, is the fact that it takes place at the same time as Terminus. So while the events of Terminus are taking place where the, everyone's trapped in the prison and they're escaping, so the events of Liberty Falls. But what's interesting is apparently according to Treyarch, and I'm pretty sure this will definitely happen myself and other Intel leaks, it's going to be sort of as the outbreak is happening. So it's going to be a sense of... In, rather than just being jumped into the zombie map, the zombies are already there. There's going to be people running around, um, being running, getting killed by the zombies, and then we're going to watch the outbreak unfold, which I've actually never ever seen in a Call of Duty zombies map, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong about that, but I've never seen that. So I think it's going to be more of a sort of a um, Walking Dead kind of situation, or not even Walking Dead. Let's say 28 days later, where the outbreak unfolds, like things start happening randomly, and um, all of a sudden there's a build-up. So I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be your typical zombies map. I think we're going to have a bit more of a. Um, everything's going to be normal one minute, then the next minute things are going to change as we play through the game, and I think that's going to be a really interesting concept. Now here is my thoughts on the whole Dark Aether aspect, because we saw in the Liberty Force trailer that there's sort of a Dark Aether situation where they're jumping and everything's upside down, so I think the name Liberty Falls indicates that everything's turned upside down when you go into the Dark Aether. But I think the main portion of the map will be Dark Aether based, and I actually think we will have a Dark Aether version of Transit that we will play through in this map. Now I could be extremely wrong about this, but with the jet gun returning and there being lots of leaks and rumours from other zombie YouTubers and um, all the rest of it, I genuinely think we're going to get some form of Transit remake in the Dark Aether. There could also be one that's not in the Dark Aether as well, but I'm pretty confident based on what I've seen with the whole Dark Aether and it was heavily implemented in the teaser trailer that we saw um, when the Terminus one was released. I genuinely think we're going to get a um, Dark Aether version of Transit, which would be pretty cool. Let's just hope they get rid of the fog, the denizens, and all of the other crappy things like the lava. And I think Transit in Black Ops 6 will run pretty well. Let's just hope they don't do what they did in Black Ops 2, because that would be lovely. Thank you. Up next, let's talk about the storyline aspect of this particular Zombies map. So, in Liberty Falls, I think it's not going to be a crew. But we're going to play as Requiem um, because I feel like we're going to get their side of version of events. And I think what's going to happen is when we're playing as Requiem, Rick Toffin's going to be sort of speaking to us through the intercoms, telling us what to do and guiding us through the main quest easter egg. So I think we'll have a specific objective and I'm assuming that specific objective is going to probably be shutting down the Dark Aether Rift that's um, taken over Liberty Falls. But saying that, we don't know what Rick Toffin's motives are, so we could have a situation as well where Rick Toffin wants us to create this Dark Aether portal and create the zombies outbreak deliberately. We have got no idea what his motives are because at the end of the day, um, people, as you already know, uh, from Cold War, that Rick Toffin is the main villain for Black Ops 6 Zombies as far as we're aware, unless that changes drastically through the story, who knows at this point. Um, so he might be up to an evil scheme where he wants a zombie outbreak to happen. 
So yeah, I just think that's going to be the case. So if we get a set crew, that would be amazing, but I don't know how that would work unless they've got some kind of set crew which are going to be on the Raccoon side, and then we've got our crew which are just trying to fight to survive and kill Ricks off, and maybe that's the concept. I've got no idea. Maybe you guys can leave some thoughts and opinions in the comments below about that one. Anyway, guys, there are my thoughts of what I think is going to be in the Liberty 4 Zombies map in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Truthfully... Um, I, there's probably plenty of other ideas out there you guys will have in the comments below. They're just my first initial thoughts, if you like, of why I think it's going to be in the game. Um, there's no, The reason I've not got many ideas at the moment is because I haven't had a full trailer. So maybe when the trailer releases, I'll do a breakdown a couple of days after. Then we can see if these predictions were correct. I could be completely wrong, but I just think it's a fun little video to do. And I think it's room up, up for discussion, really. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.